Howdy guys, what's going on? Welcome to the video for Elden Ring. My name is Vintage SGN. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to get one of, if not the most overpowered sword in the game as early as possible, even before your first boss fight, the Sword of Night and Flame. This is an intelligence and faith based sword that once you meet the requirements allows you to deal incredible game breaking damage to most enemies. Before I get to that please subscribe to this channel with notifications and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments. Alright, so to get the sword, you will need to first have already made it to the Carrier Manor Grace site. The Carrier Manor is here on the map to the northwest, just past King's Realm Ruins. If you have not yet made it this far and still have not defeated Margit or Godric, you can still get here with a shortcut route that will allow you to skip past Stormvale entirely for now. It will require you though to have access to the Castle Ward Tunnel Grace site seen here. For those of you who have made it past Margit, please skip ahead in the video to timestamp. Otherwise, I'm going to show you the skip route now. From Castle Ward Tunnel, head back out to where the soldiers are guarding the entrance to the tunnel, and then hop on your mount and head down the gate path until it levels out and you see the covered torch lamp on the left of the path. From here, take a left into the woods and follow along up and then slightly veer to the right once you make it up the incline until you see the bridge where the gnarly old witch is hanging out on top of a table. Ride the bridge to the end and once you are there, hop down to the left and take the path. Follow it up the incline and then take a right and follow this right path going north until you reach the lake facing cliff grace site. From here, you are free to continue northwest until you get to the grace site for the northern Liurnia Lake Shore. Once here, you will need to do a bit of jumping to access the path you need to continue, seen here. It will lead you to the road to the manor grace site and from there you are free to head into the manor to get the sword. Once you arrive at the main Karia Manor Grace site, the path to the sword is easier than it would first appear. There are a bunch of these creepy hands that pretend to be spiders that will try and grab you. They are weak to fire, but you don't have to actually fight them. I tried and decided that it was way too much of a hassle and I just ran right past them seen here. All you need to do is keep running up the main manor path past the fountain through the gate with the large crystal shard, ignoring any enemies that you see. Keep going forward until you see two torches and a doorway. This is where you need to go. There is one more giant spider hands thing between you and the door, but you can ignore him and dash inside to where it can't follow you. Once inside, talk to the ghost and then head up to the stairs to what appears to be a chapel and access the manor lower level grace site. Once you reach this grace site, you will have to head out onto the ramparts where spectral enemies will pop up to fight you. You can fight them, they're not that strong, but do it one at a time. Or you can attempt to run past them all together if you want once you know the way that you have to go. And that's to, on the first rampart, take the first left branching rampart that you see, then go right to the next rampart. Stop in the middle of this rampart and look to the northeast and down. You will see a roof. Hop down to it and find a hole with a ladder that descends down. This leads to a room with a chest that holds the sword of night and flame. You will need a strength and dexterity of 12 and a faith and intelligence of 24 to use this sword properly and unlock its power. The night and flame stance. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, you can show me your thanks by giving me your like. For more information on the Elden Ring, please head on over to my channel and check out the playlist there. And while you are there, turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.